Hello everyone, welcome to Mifrate. Today in this section we will see alcohol breath analyzer. So I will show you the required components for this alcohol breath analyzer projects. Mainly we are using Arduino Nano microcontroller, then a 60 rpm DC motor and a L293 driver mo module, then a alcohol sensor that is MQ3, then uh, for the warning system I am using a 3.5 volts buzzer, then uh, we are using a 12 volts DC adapter for the power supply. So it requires only 5 volts. So only in order to regulate the voltage supply, I am using 7805 voltage regulator. So these are the required components for this alcohol breath analyzer projects. Now I will show you how to connect this L293D driver module and uh, motor to the Arduino Nano microcontroller. As you can see, it mainly requires 5 volts supply and a enable pin so this 5 volt supply and enable pin we have to give it to 5 volt supply so as you can see here i have connected a common power supply so here the first one is the 12 volts which i will get it from the power supply power adapter after that this pin i have taken as a negative commonly and last one is the 5 volts so all these pins are 5 volts and this one is the negative so this uh, enable pin and 5 volts have to connect to 5 volts here after that I have uh, next one as the input pin that uh, have to connect it to the Arduino Nano. So this I have connected to the pin number 4 of Arduino Nano. Next uh, in order to connect this L293D to the DC motor 60 RPM DC motor. Here as you can see here these two pins have to connect to the motor. This it, it doesn't have any polarity will connect normally. Then for this L293 driver module we have to provide power supply. So as you can see the first one is the uh, 12 volts power like 5 volts power supply so this uh, positive i have connected to the normal here and then uh, ground I have connected to the normal ground so uh, this uh, l293d driver module want 12 volts power supply so only i have connected here as you can see so next uh, we'll connect the alcohol sensor that is mq3 so it mainly requires 5 volts supply and a ground and one analog out uh, like input pin so we will connect this uh, uh, ground and uh, power supply to the common junction here. Then the input pin I have connected to pin number uh, uh, pin number 3 of uh, Arduino Nano microcontroller. Then the buzzer which is the output here the buzzer mainly has two pin one is the output pin one more is the ground. So ground I have connected to the normal ground and the output pin I have connected to pin number 5 of Arduino Nano microcontroller. Then as I told earlier, it Arduino Nano wants only 5, 5 volts power supply. So, but I am using here 12 volts DC adapter. So, this uh, output uh, voltage I have to regulate to 5 volts. So, only I am using a 7805 regulator IC. So, for this IC I have connected in this power junction itself. So, here the 12 volts which will come I have connected to this uh, junction as you can see. From that I have connected here IC. So, this will give me the output as 5 volts that I have taken is the 5 volts and a ground. So these are the required connection in order to uh, analyze uh, alcohol. So what this project will do means actually so whenever when uh, we will turn on this uh, uh, system by giving a, a 12 volts power supply we can provide through this DC adapter in the power system it turns on uh, it is this uh, MK3 alcohol sensor will continuously sense for the alcohol. So whenever it detects the alcohol it will just stop the vehicle. So in, uh, in order to show the vehicle, we are using here a DC motor. So it, uh, the, when the system turn on, the, when the, in a, under normal condition, the, the DC motor will be running continuously. So whenever this uh, sensor uh, senses the alcohol, it will automatically turn off the DC motor. It is nothing but it will turn off the uh, vehicle. So whenever it detects alcohol, the buzzer also will uh, give a alert. Uh, it will buzzer at the same time. So I will show you the how output now by connecting the power supply. See, I have provided a 12 volt DC power supply to the system here. So now the system is uh, turned on and as you can see the uh, sensor is continually analyzing like sensing for the alcohol and uh, vehicle, the DC motor is on, it is nothing but vehicle is running, it is under the normal condition. Now I will show when it is uh, like when it detects the alcohol, it will turn off the DC motor and buzzer will uh, will give the alert. 
So in order to detect the alcohol, I have to like sense the sensor should sense the alcohol. Now I will show how this alcohol breath analyzer will work when it detects the alcohol. So instead of alcohol, I have using a sanitizer solution. It also has alcohol content. So I have created this threshold now. So I can I will show you how when it senses, it will turn off the motor and it will give buzzer sound. As you can see. And now it is sensing the alcohol and it is giving the buzzer alarm, buzzer alert and also the motor has stopped now. In this way the vehicle also will stop in the real time. So as you can see uh, when it has after I have taken my hand out when after sensing is over it is, again it will come to normal condition as you can see. So this is how this alcohol breath analyzer system will work. So thank you for watching the video. Thank you.